and BC got some more um, gateways going down, and he does have Asadi Doc Templari coming out. Even though that's Asadi Doc Templari is the High Templar thing, Doc Templar say, A doom to aid us! Because they're just cool like that. And there went an observer. I always love it. I, mean, I love it and I hate when observers die because they just kind of freak out. Those are mechanical, so I can laugh at their death. Now, I feel bad laughing at anything that is actually alive dying, but a pro you know, a pro an observer is just a little electronic thing and it goes, ah! Not, actually, that sounds nothing like what it does. But I can't imitate what it does, I'm sorry. And there comes the Dark Templar for um, Pusun, and Pusun's Dark Templar is going to do a whole lot of nothing. He's now running for his life. No, don't kill me! You're gonna die, dude. Face it, it's gonna happen. And there is a trapped Dark Templar. Oh, no, he made it out. He made it out, and <laughs> it's like, crap, he got out! Chase him down, kill him down! Dark Templar is like, damn! I always do, my brethren would be the end of me. This is like a very Dark Templarish thing to say. Don't you think? I'm a role player. And there is a Dark Templar, this one actually got up to the expansion and is harassing that cannon. Um, and this is going to be the end of him, because that observer should be along here in a second. There it is. Bye bye. And indeed, his brethren were the end of him. I spoke correctly. So, Pusan, not doing too well with this um, little attempt at an expansion. So, or not, uh, attempt at harassment. His Dark Templar are fairly lackluster. They're getting a little bit done. I mean, they're they're making Bisu run around. And Bisu also has Dark Templar around the map killing things. So we've got a, a tr couple of Dark Templar that are trying to get stuff done. But in all honesty, um, Pusan is not being very successful. I haven't seen Bisu do a whole lot. But if this is any indication, Bisu is similarly boned when it comes to Dark Templar. So I don't, I don't really know why. Both of them knew that the other one had a very strong uh, observer presence, so I'm not sure why the decision to go for Dark Templar. Maybe there's something they know that I don't. Um, if any of you have any suggestions, feel free to comment away, and I will read them. And I will say, oh, very interesting. Stupid! Um, Bisu is now coming up and harassing an expansion that Pusan's trying to put up. Meanwhile, we got a very good engagement. Yeah, finally, we got some action going on. Yay! Um, we got an engagement going on in the middle of the map, and it does look like... Okay. No, uh, Pusan is actually... I was thinking Bisu was winning, because I saw Bisu's Reapers doing a whole lot more than um, Pusan's Reapers. But in the end, Bisu had to fall back. I guess there were just there were enough dragoons that it just managed to you know take him out. So meanwhile, Bisu, Bisu took, did take down Pusan's expansion, so he won't be mining for that for a bit. But Pusan is all up in Bisu's expansion too, and it does look like Bisu has um, gotten his forces back together and he's managed to drive the dragoons back. So he's not going to take out that expansion. So in the end, I would say definitely that um, Bisu came out ahead. Bisu did lose his standing army, but he managed to reinforce and kill off pretty much Pusan's standing army. Plus, he got a base out of the deal, so good job, Bisu. B to the Sioux. Yeah, remember, guys, if Bisu doesn't win this, then SK Telecom has to go home and hang their heads in shame. Aww. So I'm rooting for Bisu. I usually don't root for Bisu. Bisu just always kind of struck me as cocky and, you know, full of himself and, you know, all the things that I am. And I don't like myself, so I certainly don't like him. Hopefully none of you guys are psychology majors, or you will have all kinds of things to say about me. <laughs> Actually, I was a psychology major, so I'm setting myself up for it, I know. Either that or I wasn't a very good psychology major, and here goes a Mainer going by the incoming army. So, may not be the smartest thing. Pusan is once again pushing in here, and Pusan is once again going to die. But while he's pushing in, he's going to do a storm drop, and very effective storm drop. That was That's a lot of dead probes. Um, probes do not very, do very well. Probes are also mechanical, so I'm not quite sure how Sonic Storm kills them, but it does. It's a very effective job. And a storm takes down the shuttle. Beautiful. That, I, I don't see that very often. Usually shuttles are fast enough that storms are not very, you know, effective against them, but that time, he lost a shuttle and a High Templar, which is, it's better than losing, like, a shuttle and four High Templar. So, kudos there for Pusan. Give them a less important shuttle to take out, but he is going to have to remake it now. And obviously, he should already be making High Templar, because High Templar are kind of your bread and butter in late game. You know, for a long time, I there was like this theory that High Templar didn't do very well against Protoss. And then eventually, you know, people started proving that wrong. 
So, good job, people. I'm proud of you. Alright, so we've got, we've sort of reset the game again, but Bisu is pushing up through the middle. Bisu's got his army back out, and, you know, with the economic damage that, um, Bisu did taking out that expansion before it came up, and he's got, he's got four expansions now, Kusan is just, may just be moving his third, does he have one in the upper corner? I don't think he does. I think Pusan's on three, and Bisu's on four. Granted, Bisu's fourth got heavily harassed and lost like half its probes, but still, an expansion with half its probes is a lot better than an expansion with, you know, that doesn't even exist yet. So, there is a standoff about to happen at the, you know, where Pusan's trying to take his fourth base, and I think Bisu has the advantage here. We'll find out, but it does look like there are more troops. Although, I don't know, there's more, there's some more up north that I didn't see a second ago. So, we are going to find out in a second, and there are no Reavers. I mean, like I said, you know, previously, having no Reavers is not that surprising in late game, but Reavers would have really helped against all these Zealots. Um, does look like Kusan may be pushing Bisu back. It looks like all of Bisu's Zealots have died, but no, he turned tail just now. And he is doing a pretty good job spreading out his Dragoons. And there are some more Zealots that I'm now seeing, so yeah, Bisu is definitely, definitely taking this. Um, there is a High Templar that is running around. There's the storm. I was like, why isn't he storming? So it's it's a very even race right now, um, but Bisu's Bisu's reinforcements are are what's winning it for him. He's got a lot of Templar that are coming up, and Pusan GGs. Pusan can see that he's losing the battle here, and he knows if he loses the battle here, he's going to lose the battle everywhere. So there is Bisu. Bisu is heading out. Bisu looks tired. Wow. I wonder if he's sick. Because he's just like, oh, yeah, I won. Bisu, beating Pusan should not take that much out of you. All right. You used to hang with the best. What's going on here? So, oh, well. Um, congratulations to SK Telecom with their winged T1 shirt. Sounds like some sort of a barbecue sauce. The, the next A1, the T1. But they win. We are now 2-1 with um, NBC Gamer, or NBC Game Hero, still taking the lead. So, good job, and I will see you in Game 4, guys, where, once again, SK Telecom has got to send out one of their big guns. I don't know if they have that many big guns left. They're down to pistols at this point. We'll see who they, we'll see who they find.